dear student i am starting your lecture number 14 on the problem of adder and subtractor circuit i am taking a first problem of a non inverting summing amplifier summing amplifier here the circuit diagram is given to you and i am asking calculate the output voltage this is a non inverting summing amplifier and here is given the wood three input is given this is a v1 is your 1 volt i am writing v1 is 1 volt here you given v2 is nothing but the 1.2 volt and v3 is your 1.5 volt the feedback resistor is 15 kilo ohm they have given r is 8 kilo ohm the r1 is i am writing is 5 kilo ohm r2 value is 10 kilo ohm and r3 is your 5 kilo ohm question find the output voltage with respect to ground so let us solve this problem already we have derived we have derived the equation of output voltage for non inverting summing amplifier vo is nothing but the 1 plus R A by R one is very easy way you can remember into V one upon R one plus V two upon R two plus V three upon R three upon one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three. These are equations. Here just we have to put the value in this equation. This is one plus fifteen by eight. This is a kilo upon kilo, so it will be cancelled. This is one volt upon five kilo. Five kilo. So here, here I should write five kilo. Here I should write ten kilo. Here I should write five kilo. So I'll take ten. This two plus three plus three plus three. Here ten is two minus three minus three, so it is taken common. So that's why look here again. Five to ten is two plus three. Ten into ten is two plus three. Five to ten is two. Five into ten is two plus three. So all will come in ten is two minus three. Ten is minus three. How the R I can write here? So plus one upon this is. This is a two one point two volt upon ten plus one point five volt upon five into ten dash two minus three upon one upon r one five into ten dash two three plus one upon ten into ten dash two three plus one upon five into ten dash two three. So if I sort it out, then I can write this value is nothing but the one plus one point eight seven five. This is your simple. You can say it is point six two into ten to the two minus three upon. You can write this is point. Two plus point one plus point your two 
into this is your 10 raised to minus 3. So this will be cancelled. So from this you can write VO is nothing but the 3.565 volt. See you have already remember the for inverting summing amplifier equation already we have done. But for non inverting you have to remember this equation 1 plus RF by R1 into V1 by R1 plus V2 by R2 plus V3 by R3 upon 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. So by putting all this value you can easily get the answer of this kind of the numerical. Second numerical we I want to do for adder subtractor. Look here, I am showing you adder subtractor circuit and question find output voltage for given circuit diagram for given adder and subtractor circuit. Look here, this is adder subtractor. I am showing you the circuit diagram. Here V1 voltage I am giving. Here V1 voltage is given. V1 is 2 volt. V2 we have given 3 volt. This is given to the non inverting terminal here is your feedback resistors rf rf they have given 50 kilo ohm this r1 it is 40 kilo ohm r2 it is cap 25 kilo ohm now let us see the for non-inverting voltage you given plus this is V3 they given it's a 4 volt V4 they given it is a 5 volt R3 resistance they have kept 10 kilo ohm R2 is they have kept 20 kilo ohm and this register R they have written 30 kilo ohm. And question is that find output voltage with respect to ground. See V1 is 2 volt, V1 2 volt, V3 3 volt, V4 is, V1 is 2 volt, V2 is 3 volt, V3 is 4 volt, V4 is 5 volt. Here Feedback resistor 50 kilo ohm they have given R1 40, R2 25 kilo ohm, R3 10 kilo ohm, R4, R4 they have written, R4 they have given 20 kilo ohm and R is given 30 kilo ohm. This is the what questions they have given and calculate the value of half of this. Already we did look one by one. I am starting your answer. First we will write the output for this. You remember the output for the non-inverting summing amplifier, inverting summing amplifier. I think you remember minus Rf by R1 into V1 plus minus Rf by R2 into V2 that we have used to solve the analog computer linear equation. To solve that equation, we have used this equation. See, listen, we will go for this first. So, to find the output for the negative, we will write here like this. First, find VO for input, input given to the input given to the 
v minus so output due to v minus is given by minus r a by r1 into v1 minus r a by r2 into v2 for a non inward for a inverting amplifier of this equation so if you sort it out if i'm sorting out this value let me put the value here you get your answer like this if i put the value here r a by r1 means 50 upon 40 into 2 plus minus 50 upon 25 into 3 volt so you will get v1 due to negative terminal due to the voltage given at the negative terminal is if you calculate you will get minus 8.5 volt this actually i should write v output v o due to minus 1 so let me write v o 1 so it is better at a, it is better to write v o 1 so you will not get the confused so i am writing v o 1 is minus 8.5 due to v minus due to v minus or you can say due to v minus so listen again due to this voltage what the output here that i have written v o due to this two due to this two what the output voltage is written as v o 1 so this is nothing but the you can say when you do negative you know i can write directly this equation and i can sort it out otherwise you can do also like this this can be sorting for this if you want to draw the diagram so you can draw this diagram for v o 1 you can draw diagram like this this is your v 1 this is a v 2 i can draw the diagram like this this is your r f and all these three is i have to make zero this two is what make zero so this is if you want to make it zero then i can show like this this i can show in this way also this all this register i can write here yes, this is nothing but the r3 this is r4 this is your r u return this is your r1 this is your r2 so to find for this to have i this to all is what make it ground so i make it ground and the for this two i will return this equation for v1 you can find from this you can see it is that is what the output is v1 that is your return here now let us find the output due to v3 and v4 one by one to find the output due to output due to v3 keep v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v4 is grounded zero and find vo that is vo3 so let us do that this is your r1 this is your r2 this is you make it ground and here you connected rf this is given to the negative terminal this is positive you connected r3 this is your given voltage v3 this is your r4 that you grounded here and this is r this also grounded 
let us write the value so you will get some understanding this value it is what 50 kilo ohm this R1 is nothing but the 40 kilo ohm this is R2 is 25 kilo ohm R3 is nothing but the 10 kilo ohm R4 is nothing but the you return this is your 20 kilo ohm R3 you return 30 kilo ohm so you can see here both is uh, and V3 is how much you have given V3 you have given is nothing but the 4 volt this is the 4 volt you have given here 4 volt you have given here this all is ground this is your ground ok so these two are in parallel so for this I can write say some here voltage is developed say V3 plus I can write V3 plus Okay, so if these two are in parallel, so this circuit can be shown like this. This is parallel, 20 parallel, 30k. This is 10 kilo ohm. This voltage is V3 plus. This is ground. That ground value is 15.38 kilo ohm. and this value is 50 kilo ohm this is VO3 this is V3 look here this two parallel is the number 15.38 you can say this two is the number the this two I can write 40 parallel 25 kilo ohm is 15.38 and this two is parallel is 20 parallel 30 kilo ohm so this is kilo ohm I can write it is 12 kilo ohm this is your 12 kilo ohm now what is V3 plus V3 plus I can find here V3 plus is nothing but the V3 into 12 upon 10 plus 12 I think you understand voltage divided voltage at this point Voltage at this point is nothing but the this voltage into this region upon total resistance that I have written here, and that value is of the order of 2.18 volt because you know V3 is 4 into 12 upon this is nearly about 22, you will get like this 2.8. So, what is VO3? So, VO3 is nothing but the gain multiplied by input gain multiplied by the input so gain multiplied by input is 1 plus 50 upon 15.38 multiplied by input is 2.18 so I'll get VO3 about 9.267 gain you know it is a gain is nothing but the this your non inverting amplifier so you know the equation gain Output is nothing but the here I can write gain is that this is your RF RF upon this 1 plus RF upon this into input input is this so that I have written here the gain into what input or I can write for your more understanding I can write VO3 is nothing but the VO3 is nothing but the gain multiplied by V3 plus so I get VO3 1 see in a previous we got VO1 due to V minus that is this is that is due to V1 and V2 ok now we have we have got VO3 now let us find this output due to V3 input V3 now let us find output due to V4 so previous we did next is this here so we will find find the output find output due to input V4 that is keep V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V3 is equal to grounded 
and fine view due to v4 that is v4 let us find this fine means we will find due to this v4 so i'll do like this see this is your circuit diagram this is given to the inverting terminal this is your rf this is r1 r2 it is all is grounded now here this is your r3 this is v1 is 0 v2 is 0 v3 is 0 v4 you have given and here is your register r v4 how much you have given v4 you have given is nothing but the 5 volts so i have given you 5 volts this is your r4 this is your r4 this will let me write the value here so if i write this is your 50 kilo ohm 50 kilo ohm this is your 40 kilo ohm this is your 25 kilo ohm this r3 is 10 kilo ohm r4 we have written 20 kilo ohm and this is your 30 kilo ohm then we have to find the vo4 what is vo4 this vo4 we have to find due to v4 rest of the what input are grounded so let me show here this with respect to ground we want to find so look here this two are in parallel this two are already we calculated now this two are in parallel 10 and 30 kilo ohm is parallel so i will draw this circuit in this way are 50 kilo and this value last time we have returned 15.38 kilo already you know this this is grounded this is nothing but the parallel combination of 40 and 25 is this see in a previous page we have written like this now here i will show here i will show this is your v4 is 5 volt and parallel combination of these two 10 and 30 kilo that i will this uh, this two are is grounded look here this is ground here is ground so both are in parallel both are in parallel so i can write this is nothing but i can write here this value is 7.5 kilo it is the parallel combination of you can say it is 10 parallel 30 kilo and this is grounded now my vo4 what is vo4 gain multiplied by v4 plus here is a v4 plus here is v4. so what is v4 plus v4 plus if you want to find the v4 plus is nothing but the v4 into 7.5 upon this value is how much this value is 20 kilo ohm. so 20 plus 7.5 20 plus 7.5 so it is nothing but the 5 multiplied by 7.5 upon 20 plus 7.5 so v4 plus i am getting v4 plus i am getting 5.7 5 point sorry I am getting this, you have to check the calculation, I am getting, I did the calculation, 1.3636. So look here what I did, what I did, here I have given the voltage, this V1, V2, V3 and your V1, V2, V3 is grounded, V4 is given. So this two are in parallel, that I have written 15.38, 10k and 30k, you know, Comparable that I have written 7.5. This voltage I have written here. Now, what is the voltage at this point? Voltage at this point is V4 into this relation upon total relation that I have written. So, V4 is 5 volt. So, 5 volt into 7.5. So, I will get this. Now, I have to find the gain. 
means what output voltage VO4. So VO4 I can write, VO4 I can write, gain is 1 plus 50 upon 15.38 multiply by 1.3636. So VO4 you can find, VO4 you can find is level 5.796 volt. So total output voltage VO is nothing but the VO1 due to V1 and V2, VO3 due to V3 and VO4 due to V4. Total output voltage of the circuit is VO1, VO1 due to which voltage? V1 and V2, VO3 due to which voltage? V3. V4 due to which voltage? V4. So, if you write all this value, then I can get this is minus 8.5 plus 9.267 plus 5.796. So, I will get VO output voltage 6.563 voltage for given error and subtractor circuit output is VO6.563 wave look last time what the wave we have done this is a final answer what is the wave we have done that let us see this question find output voltage for a given error subtractor circuit for a given error subtractor circuit so this circuit is given to you this circuit is given to you here what we did we'll first find the output voltage due to v1 and v2 then find out voltage due to v3 output voltage due to v4 you may have question sir let us do find output for v1 then find output for v2 find output for v3 v4 you can do but here we know the for summing amplifier for inverting summing amplifier we know if both the input is given so we can use this equation already we have derived this equation so this this and this is grounded that i have grounded so this is your summing ampli inverting summing amplifier for inverting summing amplifier this equation of output voltage this equation only we have derived so by putting this value we have written v1 we have find the v1 due to v minus v total voltage v1 and v2 v Okay. Now, for the, the for this we have done, this is the output voltage. Now we will find the output due to V3. Then we will find the output due to V4. Let us find the output due to V3. That output due to V3 is what I have written, VO3. So this 2 is grounded. V3 is given voltage 4 volt. V4 is grounded. Here V4. So V4 is kept 0 here. Here V1 is equal to 0. V2 is 0, V4 is kept 0. Okay, so if you do like this, these two are in parallel, that I have written here. These two are parallel, I have written here. These are RF, so these are VO3. So V3 plus is V3 voltage into this. Upon what is V3? V3 you given 4 volt, so you can write here 4 volt. So V3 into what this resistance upon total resistance. So from this I get 2.18. So what is the gain? Gain is nothing but the you can write 1 plus RF by R. This means RF by this value into V3 plus. So that I have written here. I get 9.267. Okay. Now next for V4. For V4 what I need? V1, V2 and v, uh, V3 is grounded and V4 voltage is given. So this already we did. This and this two are in parallel we did. Now here we find V4, V4 plus. The gain is nothing but the 1 plus RF by R, RF by this value multiplied by this voltage for non-inverting amplifier. These two, for to find this, these two are in parallel. So this value is here. So we I got value of V4 plus by voltage divider. So these are input voltage at this point. These I have kept here. 
So you'll get VO4. What is the total output voltage? VO1 plus VO3 plus VO4. So this is due to non-inverting. This is due to what? To input at the non-inverting. You'll get your answer. Here I am keeping the end of the this numerical lecture. Okay. Here I will put MCQ or quiz question from all the discussion what we did up to today.